Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Shoot the Shit. Beep. We got a little, in front of a live studio audience. Yeah, we have a live studio and audience today. We got a special, special guest today making uh, this is your second time on the Nights of the Channel. I think it is your second time because it was like a year ago. Last Almost month to the day, uh, like last month, right? Yeah, and then when we I premiered my it. First one. We premiered it, I think. No, we filmed him in January. I think we premiered him in February. Science. I don't remember. Yeah, it was something like it's been a year. Let's it's just, been a, it's been a cool, it cool minute. But welcome back to the channel, Hunter, aka Looney, aka uh, the person <laughs> who's taking my place on this channel. I am not your taking first. your place. <laughs> you heard it here first, loser, ladies and gentlemen. Loser, bro. Why you gonna be loser? This is this is my formal resignation. <laughs> this is Sammy's last time on the sh channel. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Uh, was Tony I gonna, fired me. When was I going to get a two weeks' notice? Or something? Yeah. I fired you? Yeah, I got fired. Rip. Yeah. I mean, this is the first I'm hearing about any of this. Yeah, so. bro. He told me all my ideas suck. I. This is the first I'm hearing. Rip. Matt, you got anything to say about this? No? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, how are we doing today, Hunter? <laughs> now we have uh, we have Scott Skitterman's over there. Skitterman's, or in the words of many people, Dickerman. Dickerman? Who I, calls him that? That's not me. You said people have been calling you that like way before me. Yeah, live studio audience. Bullshit! You're like you're not original. That people have been saying that a little longer than I have. It's not about you, okay? But uh, back to <laughs> back to the back to the, the the esteemed guest of honor, Hunter. How are we doing today? How are we doing? Uh, doing good. Doing good. Doing good. I, I see you've loosened up since a year ago. Yeah, I think now that people are starting to open up again and we can be around friends and stuff, and definitely over the year getting to know you guys a lot better, it definitely helped. Should we play a clip from? No. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's get a let's, let's get, get a, a, clip. Let's get a nervous reaction clip God. of where she was and where she's at now. Yeah, this is an outtake you've never seen before. Uh, this is kicking off shoot the shit season two, I believe. Season two. I've been meaning to bring this podcast back. I've just been so busy doing More it. zombies than ever. No, that's that's Walking Dead. Oh, my bad. I get them confused yeah. sometimes. HHN Walking Dead. Because they both suck. Uh, uh, I'm oh. just kidding. I'm just kidding. I just, like, just <laughs> lives to talk shit. That's, uh, but, I mean, that wouldn't be, you know. <laughs> Isn't that the name of this podcast? Yeah. You're right. You're right. I wouldn't miss that. You're right. You're right. Yeah. You'll get me back later, I'm sure. Uh, I probably will. Uh, I don't know when, but I will. Yeah, I'm not sure either. By the way, we're not even in studio. We're actually... At a different location today. Yeah, um, secret location. Secret location. Somewhere, Top secret. Somewhere in uh, Canada. Yeah, uh, Quebec to be exact. Quebec? Yeah, they speak French um, today. So the reason why we actually brought Hunter on the show today is because uh, we've been talking a lot lately about her coming on the channel to help out with some things um, and even being a lot of the new um, Haunt 2022 videos potentially. Um, if you guys don't know by now, uh, and if you've been living under a rock, which some people have because of COVID. You know. That's just a stupid boulder. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. I'm looking at you, Patrick Starr. <laughs> um, Looney has an experienced background of scare acting for a couple years now. Um, and... She's a little undecided of what she wants to do this season, whether she goes back into the fog or whether she joins us this year for haunt season. Um, still undetermined, but uh, we've been talking and, you know, it's looking like, what, 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 let's ask you, because you're the only one that knows you more than more than anyone. What, what's, what's it looking like this season? Are you kind of feeling like a year off maybe? Yeah, I think I'm definitely after last season willing to take a year off. <laughs> As Dieterman's over there laughing. <laughs> laughing because he knows exactly how last season went. Um, just after last season, it was just a mess. That's to say the least. Yeah, and it's just, I think this year taking a year off, especially if Queen doesn't come back, it's going to be one of those things where I'm just willing to enjoy it a lot more and go to places I've never been because I know... With Sammy living out of town and Anthony going to different events, it'll give me the opportunity to go with them and at least help take pictures and everything because I do take pictures on my free time when I have time. Yeah. <laughs> I, tried, I tried to do it last season, and I got a few pictures of some haunt monsters that came out pretty good. So, I mean, I, I think it would be... You know what I think was funny is I can already hear the jokes of 
how many people we've brought in and out of this, this yeah. little crusade. Yeah, take a shot for everyone. Take a shot. All right, if That's you're drunk like, now, I'm sorry. That yeah, wasn't my choice. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry if you're drunk by this point of how many people have been in and out of this show. But I'm the OG, and I've still been, I've been here since day one. I've been here uh, you too actually, long. You technically can say you've been long. here since day one. I'm a day one homie, day one fan, number one fan. He was. He's Longest, probably one of my, I would say, in the first five subscribers, maybe. Yeah, I've been replaced, though. I know the guy who's sitting on the sidelines currently who's taking over our job, or my job, is number one fan. He's currently on his phone. He just doesn't know it. He's mad now. He's ignoring us on purpose. <laughs> this should have stayed on. <laughs> could have been worse. We could have forced you in here. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it, it's going to be nice because I know last season – was uh it's an interesting season i mean we went to a lot of new things we did we tried a lot of new stuff and um there were some days i had to drive to temecula one day all by myself have you ever done that drive yeah because i drive so so much you know that i go everywhere you by could myself. technically say yes because you have driven from arizona to california yeah not by myself though i know but you said you technically can say you've done a drive that long science science rules Listen, I, I, I tried teaching you driving, and you just, we never got there. Yeah, uh, thank you, good old friend. Cool. <laughs> thank you, Corona, uh, for, uh... No, Corona didn't have nothing to do with it. You were no, still in California. Because I, I got my permit in January of 2020. Okay, go. ladies. Here we go, the <laughs> And uh, within about five weeks, the world decided, hey, let's... Uh, Longer than five weeks if you got it in January 2020. Yeah, I got COVID's the end of January. Why am I getting myself in? I don't know. We're, uh, we're you, you have had a lot worse. <laughs> we're a divorce couple. We just don't I know do it the yet. the one sitting over there. Past Anthony. Oh, over damn. There. Is, this, uh, this, is this the roast match? Don't touch my camera. I thought he was just going to just bump it. And... Just, eh. yeah. He's our cameraman too now or what? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, but uh, on a serious note though, like, you know, there's a lot of stuff to look forward to this haunt season, obviously, and we're already getting started. You know, we've, we've talked about HHN already. We've talked about knots. We've talked about other events that are coming. I mean, HHN is well under construction right now, and knots is, you know, announced. They've announced dates. They've We've already seen a couple construction things and whatnot. I mean, what's one thing can you say? Well, there's probably a lot of things you're probably looking forward to this year, but what's one thing for sure that you are very much looking forward to this year? Seeing where my boyfriend goes. He's getting promoted to bench warmer number four. <laughs> Good it's a great warmer? place. It's yeah. a great place. Bench, bench warmer number four. Be part of the Knights of Horror bench warmers. <laughs> yeah. Um, he'll just you just won't see him because he'll be um, yeah he'll be behind a tree or something. I, I know that I'm super stoked for this season. I, I've had uh, oh, quite a bit of free time recently. Um, some house sitting, and <laughs> <laughs> I've had quite a bit of free time. <laughs> And I've been watching a lot of haunt videos, and I'm just like, man, it can't come soon enough. But it's gonna be another like six months, uh, I think. Let's see, six months. We're all gonna be well, less than six months now, because six months was yesterday. So we're coming today, March twenty fifth, two thousand twenty two. Look how excited! See how excited he got. But who's counting? It's not me. I I can promise you that. Yeah, it's yeah. it's gonna be interesting to see where people go. Who knows where Queen people are going. Like, if they're going to try to go back to Boardwalk, like, I know a lot of friends and stuff. Like, it's just going to be interesting to see if people are going back to what they're doing and doing what they love to do and just to see. I'm excited. Yeah, I know that Tony's really excited. He told me this year he's training out for uh, uh, Ghost Town Streets. He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> I love it when Sammy is in front of an audience. He tries his hardest to be the funniest. And it's, it cracks me up. Cause, like, I'm having a great time. I know you are. I'm having a great time, too. Isn't that, isn't that something, right? He knows he's got an audience. But, but if he goes to, to Ghost Town, what's he going to be? What a is he going to be? The tree? The tree? Probably a tree. The Chupacabra. I'm pull that shit off. GTS Chupacabra coming into a, an Instagram near I'm you. I'm not that flexible. I, I don't think I could do that. Well, you got time. You could just move your arms. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think one thing I'm looking forward to this year is seeing if HHN improves. Too, because I mean, better. 2020, man. 2020 or 2021? Both years, because one year we didn't have it, and one oh, year okay. we had a, a light event. Yeah, Do exponential growth is what is needed. I mean, we since the last time you and I did something, though. I mean, there's been a speculation map that's come out. Yeah, I, I can't tell you what's on that map. You'd have to tell me. I, I, I'd have to tell me too. 
Uh, I know there's one. I know one thing on there. And while you're pulling it up, uh, I'll say it. The maze that made Tony cry and decide, even though gas prices are high, if this is a legitimate. If this maze. is a legitimate thing, I will buy frequent fear pass for the yes. event and and go every weekend, at least once a weekend. Yes, and that is uh, Killer Clowns from Inner Space. Don't I'm just think kidding. That's Outer space. Called? Outer space. I'm sorry. I don't think I have the. Do I have the maps? I don't know if I do. Oh, it's probably on the Twitter. Twitter, bro. Twitter or Instagram? Yeah, it's not it on Twitter. Instagram. No, it's Twitter. So, uh, do you want to talk about Orlando's event first or Hollywood's event? How about we just mix it up, bro? <laughs> because it's just confusing <laughs> at that point. All right, let's talk about Hollywood's. Uh, first up on the list, uh, speculated map by HN Nightmares, who some reason happens to get a lot of these right every year it's that source science science rules science rules hunter's like rethinking her whole life right now she's like i don't think this is a good idea she said why did um, i agree to be with these two hooligans universal monsters the mummy oh bro how do we feel about that hunter tell us how you feel because i feel like i've been commanding talking here please tell us <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how they're going to pull it off. I, I, I think it'll, I think it can be really good depending on what they do to it. It, it, it kind of has me thinking like, well, ironically, this is being placed behind the mummy. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> and so what makes, what, what, what starts to questions that come to my head are, are we getting the remake mummy? Are we sticking with the classic? Monsters? Is it a reimagining? Reimagining? Are they bring, gonna bring that sliding mummy? Like how it was in the ride? Oh, yeah. There was a sliding mummy in the ride? Yeah. At the exit. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I didn't used know to, that. Used to scare the shit out of people. He told me. It used to be like a person dressed up. They had statues at the end of the, of the ride, and he yeah. used to actually like stand on one of the. There was like an empty one, and he'd come in and scare people. I noticed there was like stilt walkers too that used to be around there. I don't know if they're still there. Yeah, I don't know. I Because I, I had talked to some friends about that, and. I, I think they're on hiatus right now. Probably so if they bring them inside of the maze, or in the facade. Now that's the quite. Now that's the next question. Like, if you were to do a mummy maze, what would be your ideal facade for that? A, a sphinx, like the, like the ones that exist. Oh, you have a sphinx on there. There it is, right there. Um, would be pretty sick. What about you? What, what like a statue? I don't know. I think the still walkers would definitely like make it. Like, make it because you wouldn't expect it because they would probably look like statues. Yeah. So it would be one of those ones is, like, the last thing is, like, a jump scare that people could get. It could be a lot of fun. I mean, I'm, you know, when I think the mummy, obviously the first thing you think about is a pyramid. Yeah. You know what I mean, the, the yeah. pyramids of Egypt and whatnot. Um, Universal probably has a lot of old school 1930s preserved things that they can look at and replicate. You know what I mean? Not to so they don't destroy the originals or anything. It's something to make the maze more feel alive and stuff. Um, what it's I'm, alive. It's alive. Uh, what I'm curious about is uh, how they're going to make the mummy look. Now, in the past, we've seen you know a, a bitchin' look for Frankenstein. Dracula looked dope. Wolfman looked dope. Um, the Bride last year, phenomenal maze. Yeah, that great. looked dope. Great base, favorite yeah. base. It was they, did a, they did a good job with uh, the Invisible Man too. Invisible Man when he had his little cameo. That yeah, I wish dope. I would have seen that in person, but yeah, I was a scaredy cat. Did you not go in 2018? No, you no. went in 2019. Huh? Yeah, I went to 2019. I can share great stories about that, but that's not neither here nor there. Yeah. Us white walls. Dun dun dun. That's good. So I mean, mummy, it could be cool. I just I want to know if Murdy's gonna plan out a story as far as you know. This is. This is what's happening with the mummy. This is like a spiritual sequel to the mummy. You know what I mean? Like how he did with the bride. Yeah, I'm. I'm not staying on topic, but slightly changing topic here. Is I think like at midsummer, I'm hoping we'll get like a nice little. Like how we did for awaken. Yeah, for awaken. I'm really hoping we'll get the same thing for this maze because I think it's super interesting to hear what the story is going to be, what these uh, like these drawings look like, and then really getting to see it come to life. Uh, you know, Hopefully, a few uh, months later, it's Slash comes back. <sighs> Slash is always killing those scores. Yeah, for sure. I think everyone sure. in this room can agree with that. Slash has great scores with these things. And you can tell he makes them with love just for him being a Universal Monsters fan. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, moving on. Waterworld Q is rumored to be the Evil Dead. Um, now, this is this is going to be cool for me because 
every year that I've gone, I think they've done Evil Dead once when the reimagining came out, and I never got to go through it. It was the one maze I didn't get to go through. So to see them, I know why she's laughing. And I'm just Guest kind appearance of, of uh, Matt's hand. Of a ch- cherry Dr. Pepper, not <laughs> sponsored. Um, I wish we were, though. Uh, Dr. Pepper, <laughs> if you're listening, you, we can take your sponsorship, and we will eat, drink a cherry Dr. Pepper. And then get him some cherry Dr. Pepper Zero, please. So Yes, please. What kind of Dr. Pepper do you want? Any of them? Terry, regular. <laughs> we all like Dr. Pepper. Doc. Like all 23 flavors, please. <laughs> um, but Evil Dead. Uh, so my, my, my first question is, would you rather see the original or the remake? I've never seen any of the Evil Dead, so I don't know. Yeah, uh, next question. <laughs> next, You've never seen Evil Dead either, huh? That is correct. I guess I'm one of the only people. Now, you don't have to answer this. You can just nod yes or no. Have you seen Evil Dead? Okay. You seen Evil Dead too? Any of them? Nope. No? <laughs> so no. Is it on Voodoo? Um, it is actually. All of them are. So go check it out. The first one? Okay. Just because if I'm talking about this, I know they're listening, but they're not paying, you know. But anyway, um, I think if, if I were to choose, because they've already done the reimagining in 2013, so I would probably more than likely want to see the original. The only problem is it's... I mean, it's supposed to be scary, but it's not scary, in my opinion. How would you feel, since I, I you know, since you're the one, I'm not going to answer this question. If you went on a night and Bruce Campbell was actually in the maze. Why you got to go there, bro? Bro, because I wanted to see you fanboy. That's freaking Sonic Boom, bro. <laughs> For those who know, no, Sky High, bro. Sonic Boom himself. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Ash Williams, bro. I was like, I, I, I'd probably lose my shit. I was like, I don't think that's his name in Evil Dad. <laughs> Out of all the people in this room, I think two people have seen me fanboy over people. That guy sitting in that chair is one of them. He actually just saw me fanboy like two weeks ago. You have seen me fanboy in front of people. Yeah. Have you seen me fanboy in front of people? Anyone famous or anything that we've met? No. no? Well, I'm talking about like convention. Wait, were you yes. there? Yes. Were you there when I met all the Resident Evil people? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. She's she was huge. Because you you went and then you were like, I gotta go get signatures of everywhere. Yeah, it was because we got there. Yeah. Like, like, I would have spent three hundred dollars for too, three right? pieces of paper. No, you didn't see it. Um, he saw it. It's. He don't uh, remember. <laughs> yeah, I, I if I saw Bruce Cameron there, I'd probably. Hey, you want to be on my podcast? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, really hey, found forty six. Really, really found, found its voice, voice right there, you know. So. Really found its voice in the forty sixth episode. So. Uh, okay, so Evil Dead, I'm, I'm for if it's the original. Uh, even if they do the remake, I guess I'll enjoy it. Uh, Scarecrow, this is an original that's going to be at the Curious George Tent, which is actually under construction right now. Facade is almost up. Um, I had talked to someone about this. The facade door kind of looked like Nightmare on Elm Street. And then I got in an argument with the same guy because he said it wasn't. I'm like, uh, well, you don't, we don't know yet. So <laughs> Was it him? No, it was actually... I thought he was going to... I don't know if he ever sent you the picture, if he ever got the picture of when well, we were just, on the channel last time. So, yeah, he so he sent me some pictures, but I, I had um, I had seen a picture today, like an mm. updated version of it, and the facade looks pretty much almost done. I just got to paint it and add a couple more details, and it's done. But Scarecrow comes from, if it's true, uh, it comes actually from an original that Orlando did years ago that was like supposed to be like really good or something like that, so... The thing that scares me about Hollywood <laughs> is to see what their take is on it, but it's an original, so you, there, there should be no black walls in there at all. No excuses. What color walls do we want, though? White walls. There we go. You know why we want white walls? No. Um, was do it because I of us? Know? Was it because of us, <laughs> yeah, right? It's because of us. Yeah, and us, like, you, have you seen us? Yeah, I, 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 uh, the movie? Yeah. No. But you went through it. But I went through it. So, in the scene at the end where you go in the underground and it's like bunnies everywhere. And sure. Yeah, at the very end, um, it was all white walls. So, we were very happy about that because in the, a lot of that movie, there is a lot of white walls everywhere. And we were just tired of seeing black walls, so we just wanted a different color. <laughs> white was the next color because it was the opposite of black. So Yeah, it just makes us laugh. But Scarecrow, I, I don't know too much about. But what do you think? What do you guys think of another, more originals coming to HHN? It could be one of those things where it's either really good or they botched it really bad. Yeah. 100%. You, 
you've seen originals at H ten as well. So yeah, it's it's actually I, I have inside sources. They told me it's Curse of Pandora's box to electric scare- blue, electric <laughs> blue <laughs> electric blue scarecrow edition. You see what I gotta put up with sometimes. No, I'm I'm excited. I think. I think they've done a great job with, like, reimagining the uh, Universal Monsters and making those come to life with, like, kind of a more original idea. Mm-hmm. Of course, of Pandora's Box, obviously a great original, and a lot of people love that. So I definitely think that um, with the right, with the, yeah, Lyrona, with the, with the right budget, it's going to be an outstanding mace. Some would say stupendous. 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 Oh, man, I don't want to talk about this next one, but we're going to have to. The weekend, ladies and gentlemen, the, the weekend. weekend, ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. Have you heard about this? There's rumors right now that the weekend might have his own maze. The artist, okay, I was like really confused for a second, and then you said the artist, and I was like, oh, well, are you a weekend fan? No, okay, I used to I like, like, I like when he came song. out back in the day. It was like one or two songs, but Blinding Lights is like the only thing I like from him. Yeah. What do you mean? You don't want to feel your face when I'm with you? If you know, you know. For one, that sounded wrong, but two, I mean. His word, his actual like says, I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Oh, yeah, I heard that on TikTok. I've heard two songs of his on TikTok then, but I don't like that one. I like the other one. Yeah, I just want them to have an effect where, like, they blow air in your face and you're like, oh, I can't feel my face. I can't. <laughs> Someone can pick this guy up. I'll be here all week. Uh, can you leave tomorrow? <laughs> no, I leave Sunday. Oh, well. You're literally here all week, too. That's the funny part. Um, I don't know. I just... For me, that type of music... I mean, I understand why they're doing it in a marketing perspective. If you were to put a band like Iron Maiden compared to a band, like a person like The Weeknd, it sucks to say it because I'm an Iron Maiden fan, but The Weeknd's going to gain more traction because of today's audience. Yeah. A lot of the people who go to Halloween Horror Nights are, like, teens to, like, people our age. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the majority audience. Now, the diehard HHN fans would love an Iron Maiden maze. Shit, I already have so many ideas that I can make the maze myself if I wanted to. Yeah, tune in to uh, Maze Treatments, Season 2. Whenever that comes TBA. back. TBA. TBA. That's good. That was good. Um, but I don't know. I, I I don't see. I mean, people have went on Twitter. The weekend is not horror, and then they showed video parts of this. But I was like, is that one scene of the damn video, or is this throughout the entire video? I, A lot of it is just scenes, I think. It's just scenes, right? I mean, I don't know. What, what do you? How do you? Why do you? Yeah, great question. I think Tony. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Um, you know, I really think it's a a media ploy. Um, definitely, if you get a large artist, multi-million, um, you know, fans, probably active listeners on Spotify, and you let those fans know, like, hey, there's this maze, they're going to be more inclined to come. And if they come, they spend money on tickets, they spend money on merchandise, and maybe they'll go into something that's a little bit more uh, top echelons of horror here, like uh, Scarecrow, hopefully, ho- hopefully, damn, I can't even speak English today. You can, but you're using a lot of big words, and my vocabulary doesn't go that high. <laughs> yeah, the, high, the highest steam of horror. Um, yeah. Maybe something like Scarecrow will be uh, entice them, or... Can you stop using fucking big words that I don't know what they mean? <laughs> entice is not even that big of a word. It means make them uh, curious. I don't do English. Dieterman. <laughs> um, yeah, so maybe that will make them more interested in the event, and uh, they will become aficionados of horror. He was trying to purposely look for a big word at the end. He I was really trying to, was. I, I was know what that means, though. I was trying to think of a word that I could not think. I could not think of a word. Um, what do you think? Is this good? I don't know. Like, I got into going to horror nights like late in the game. I should say. What was your first year? Do you remember? 26. She said 2021. Oh, if you would have said 16, kidding. you would have started a great year. 17 was a pretty good year. That was the shining. I think it was 17. Yeah. The shining. And, you know, going there, it got me to, like, figure because sitting out and watching the street talent, especially on the upper lot, like, just sitting there and listening to that, I was like, oh, like, this is super cool. Like, obviously, I got on, like, Shazam or whatever it was and figured out who the artist was and started listening to him, you know, and I've been a fan ever since. And I'm so used to, like, that and, like, how Slash did last year with The Bride. Um, just, I think, going into something where it's more pop 
culture area. I think, yeah, it's going to attract the attention of, like, younger adults, but people who are horror fans are going to walk through it and just be like, what the fuck is this? Like, yeah. Because I think I've had this conversation with a couple of my, uh, my buddies who, you know, live on the East Coast and stuff that, yeah, for your typical H H your diehard HHN fan, are we going to go through it? Of course. We'll go through it once just to see what it's like. Maybe mm-hmm. it makes shock. Because in rumor, you know, in 2020, 2020, Billie Eilish was supposed to have a maze at the event. Mm-hmm. And it was actually pretty much confirmed when, you know, Orlando started selling off all the set pieces. Yeah. So I... I Part of me was like good, but part of me was like I kind of want to see what it would have been like. Yeah. So I mean I don't know. I just for me when I started going to the event, the music mazes that I had were like Alice Cooper, Black Sabbath. You know what I mean? So I was like, okay, heavy metal. This fits horror, especially Alice Cooper. You know, he, he writes nice, writes songs. Nothing about you know it's all about horror. He has that creepy factor behind him too. Yeah. You know, and and Black Sabbath the same thing. They're the band that started heavy metal. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like. It's nuts to, you know, but then you look at Billie Eilish on the weekend, it's like, is it because they have a big following that you know that you can bring in a lot of money yeah. with them? So, that, I mean, that kind of right there is like, for me, if that's the truth, for me in my head, it's like, so you're doing this more. I mean, understandable, you have to be profitable and whatnot, but it's like, why wouldn't you bring stuff that you know horror fans would love? Because I think they're going to use, I think there's a couple other things in that lineup that uh, horror fans are really going to love. You gotta you gotta cater to all of your audience. It's true. You do. You're right. Um, there is something. So this one's interesting though because especially where the location is that it's a return maze from 2019. Uh, Killer clowns from outer space is being speculated right now. Returning, but it's gonna be in the Walking Dead location. Will yeah. there be more zombies than ever in this maze? There'll be more clowns than ever this time. Woo. Two I'm factors. Not, what I'm hoping is a three live if you count action. Me. Three. That's true. Uh, maybe four if you count me too. Um, hopefully a life-size clownzilla this time. For yes, anyone who please. went in 2019 to Horror Nights at Hollywood, the clownzilla was just ahead. S- didn't really ruin it for me. It was still a fun time. Did you go through Killer Clowns from Outer Space? What do you think? I hated every minute of it. You don't like clowns, huh? Oh no. Have you ever seen the movie? Yeah, I'll watch the movie, but the fact that they were right in front of me. I, I practically ran through the maze. Well, I can promise you one thing. If you go through that maze with Tony, you will have a great time. You'll have a great time. Because I can promise you there will be a few quotes in there, and one of them will be, Another, another door! door. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, mean, and my tiny ass is going to be hiding behind him the whole freaking time. He's going to be giddy like a five-year-old at a candy oh, shop. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, be so like excited. sandwiched in between you and Matt, like head down, no thank you, no. I just, I... I I don't know, man. This movie is just... You would be like, why is this your favorite movie? And I just... I think I just watched it at a young age and I continue to watch it every single time and it's just... I don't know. I mean, Scott was there when we met uh, Suzanne Snyder and Grant Kramer in person. That was a a good time, right? They were very nice people. Super cool. Super cool people. He said super cool if you didn't hear him. Shout out to John Masari. John Masari, of course. John is a good friend of... of Great great friend of the channel. Great friend of the channel. Great friend of the channel, but he's just a great friend. I actually... Fun story... Scott was there for this one. You were there. Uh, Scout, yeah, that was cool. From uh, the Halloween remake. But fun story. I didn't think you guys were all there uh, except you. And him. And him. But, uh, well, and, and him. It's a dog. Hmm? Uh, I, I, it was funny because... BSDS. Do you remember... BSDS for the win. Do you remember <laughs> in 2019 when we, we promised Mazzari tamales or at least i did oh and then you brought oh yeah tamales. there was a few other people that made promises tamales Shut too fuck up about that he knows what i'm no we're not going there <laughs> that's a that's a story for later it's a story for it's off a camera story, story for off camera anyway 20 uh and you know last christmas i was we were working halloween depot i was working tricks booth uh queen mary sliders were across from us anyway uh john was sitting there we were talking about christmas when we were talking about tamales I remember I had promised him in 2019. COVID happened. Couldn't get him in Molly's. 2021 comes around. He's like, hey, so uh, you got any family that made some Molly's this year? I was like, a matter of fact. <laughs> Science rules. I made like a whole bag of tamales and brought them and just sh- like word got around like almost 
half the vendors came up. We well, heard you got tamales. I'm like, I don't. Yeah, by the time we got there, you had like ten left. You like 10 left. I should have some John, and he should have like, sold them to everyone but John. I did, but you know, a lot of those people that vend there are super cool. So. Yeah. You know what else is super cool? A word from our sponsor today. I'm just kidding. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> they call me Dr. Love. Do you remember that commercial? Gene Simmons did a fucking Dr. <laughs> yeah. Pepper commercial. Yeah. God. Anyway, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to buy a freaking fear pass if it comes. Just to go to that maze. Yeah. I will go through that maze all night. I don't give, I don't give one fuck if... I'm like, if anyone's with me, have fun with the rest of the park. This is what I'm doing all night. <laughs> Just bounce between that and like one other, one other maze. Who's it? Whatever's going to be in the courtyard. Is there anything planned in the courtyard this year? Yeah. <laughs> we'll get to that in a bit. Your favorite urban legend. Um, so yeah, Killer Clowns. Hunter will be scared. Sammy will just be there for a good time, not a long time. And You're all right. you guys will be laughing at me. And I'll, no, because I'll be too just in the moment with the maze. Yeah, POV coming soon. POV coming soon. Reacting, who knows. Um, soundstage 29. Was home to e nueve for all those Spanish speakers out there. <laughs> <laughs> for uh, for those who don't know what how sounds what was housed in Soundstage Twenty Nine last year was The Exorcist. The year before that was Stranger Things Season Two, and the year prior to that was Stranger Stranger Things Season One. You good? Yeah. Okay. You good? What happened? No, nothing. Huh? You're good. Okay. Uh, Jordan Peele's Nope. Yup. Yeah. Never seen it. What's well, not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've seen you're it. safe. Oh. You're so safe. So you're safe today. Have you seen us and Get Out? No. Oh, yeah, oh. we talked about us. You haven't seen us and Get Out. So you've seen no Jordan Peele movie. No. You kind of have an idea of how it is though, going through us, or were you confused as fuck when you went through that? Oh, I was confused. I had no idea. I was just it walking through, and I was like, "You've never seen the movie. Why are there people everywhere? <laughs> like with the same mask on?" <laughs> That's Sammy's favorite movie. It was. I really wish I could have went through that one. More times. We only got to go through it twice. It was always a packed line, bro. I know. It was just always packed. That and Pandora's box were always packed. Yeah. And Killer Clowns. Yeah. That's why we didn't go, we didn't go through Killer Clowns as much. Yeah, we went through one like three times. Yeah. Because that was packed and, and Stranger Things, too. I thought Stranger Things would drive more of the crowd away. It didn't. Oh, it did. It got like a three-hour line, but that uh, still true. didn't that still didn't save yeah. us. Well, Killer Clowns had like two hours, and, and us had like two hours. I'm like, great. Well, not when we went. When, what, when did you guys go? Opening weekend? We went opening weekend, and we got the early access, so we got to hit everything before everything. Yeah. So we hit all the, the Stranger Things and everything, and then we hit the... Because that was a year where it had the Ghostbusters and all that kind of stuff with the Killer Clowns, so we hit all the bottom lot before anyone else got in. Why are you looking at me and laughing? Because I really had to hold myself from saying another thing about Ghostbusters. <laughs> Four female Ghostbusters. I mean, four female Ghostbusters? The feminists are taking over. I'm an adult virgin. You guys see what I gotta put up with? <laughs> oh god, it's starting to get dark on camera, by the way. Oh, that's a great thing, because those lights are about to turn on in T minus one minute. At 6.55? Yes. <laughs> I had to change time. Anyway. Uh, nope should be interesting. I, I, I'm thinking it's about aliens, but who knows? You're but gonna, what if it's not? You're going to have to see it. We're going to have to do like a movie day where we all go see it. Okay. Just, just so you know what you're getting into. I have a great time to go see it. We'll FaceTime you. Yeah, we'll FaceTime you. No, we'll just watch it at mid after Midsummer one night. When does it come out? It comes out like the week before. Does it really? Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, can watch wait. it I before. Can, but I can wait then. I can wait. Yeah, well, it comes out like the week after, I think. If it's like Saturday or after, we can just go movies. For sure, dude. It's our after party. <laughs> For sure, dude. Uh, Sammy. Hunter. Lyarona's coming back. The Curse of La Chona. What do you think about that coming back? I mean, it was here in 2011. It was here in 2012. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I told you, bro. Okay, came light. What about that one? Um... My mom might have messed that one up. We'll fix that later. Can we just turn the knob? Yeah, you probably can. Right there. Oh, oh there mind. it is. There it is. Perfect. <laughs> it's just the light got way better all of a sudden. That's good. It was that one. That was the missing key. Um, 
Is that, is that the is that the Insidious new movie? The Missing Key? The Missing Key. I, I thought it was the last key, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, yeah, the new the one, though, the new one. I don't know. Are they making another Insidious? I don't know. I doubt it, but... Then don't bring it up. <laughs> L- La Llorona, the Mexican urban legend. I guess I understand that. <laughs> She's going to be like, what? I didn't see the mazes from back in the day. I mean, I've seen like YouTube videos, but I mean, that's nothing compared to going through it, going through it. I mean, the movie terrified the shit out of me. So did it. Dan. it I wasn't scared of the movie. It was the jump scares. So you were scared. No, but like, I wasn't like when I watched the conjuring too, <laughs> I could not sleep. I don't do look, movies like that Look down the hallway. Bro, we did not look down the hallway right now. PTSD. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I did go through it in 2011 and in 2012. Um, all I'm going to say is if it's going to be the same thing, I'm not excited for it. I'll still go through it, but it's like I've already seen it, like much how The Exorcist was. Yeah, you don't have a choice if you're going with me. Yeah, I, I mean, well, I mean, that was the same thing with season two for Stranger Things. I knew what I was going into when I had to go with you again. I was like, great, I have to walk through this again. Oh. And Sammy got out. He was like, I'm sorry I had to make you wait that. I'm like... I wasn't sorry about making you have to go through the exercise again because I enjoyed that thoroughly. I did not. I didn't care for it one bit. If it was... Did you get scared? I got scared. Okay. Okay, but why did we get scared? Because we couldn't see shit. Because of the black wall. And and that bitch was going to pop out of nowhere, Pazuzu, and I was going to punch someone in the face probably. And I didn't want to have to do that. I literally could not see anything in that maze. What was darker, that maze or the one at Castle Dark? Oh my god. Oh, well. Castle Dark ones. Castle but it was close. It was close. What were we talking about? La Llorona. La Llorona. I don't know. I just... I'll go through it. And I'm hoping it's something different. A new take on it, maybe. Did they update her... Has anybody updated her urban legend since it started? <laughs> Did we give her, like, new abilities or... Yeah, Roshi. Lyrona unlocked the power. Lyrona version 2.1. Version 2.1? There's a 2.0 and a 1.0? Point 0.5 is where I'm looking at, bro. What? We haven't even gotten to a full point. What do you think of Lyrona? Are you scared of Lyrona? I mean, the movie scared me more than anything. Because, I mean, growing up, like, I heard more of, like, my mom's side of the story, and she's, like, the Polish side. I didn't hear, like, the Hispanic side of my family, like, or anything, like, with that. But I grew up, like, because all my friends and stuff, like, knowing the urban legend. But I never really, like, read into it or really anything until he told me about someone in his family or something like that. And I was like, oh, okay. And then we watched the movie, and I was like... This bitch is terrifying. Like <laughs> she real, bro. I'll tell you what. I got some great stories from some of my friends from the motherland. You know what I mean, bro? From the motherland. The motherland. I don't know if we want to say that right now. That's fine. I'm, I'm Mexican, so is my family. Okay, we we're thinking of two different motherlands then. Tetram, the return of Hollywood Harry. Hollywood what? Hollywood Harry. Yeah, great, great questions. He was there in 2019, wasn't he? No. He was not. 2018. He was. So, here's a little backstory on Hollywood Harry. Eli Roth in 2016. You know who Eli Roth is? Sure. Are you saying sure sarcastically or no? Sure. Have you seen Inglorious Bastards? No. Oh, damn. But, come on, dude. That's a Tarantino film. I don't think she's... What Tarantino films have you seen? I don't know. This is just She said Once Upon a Time in Hollywood only? Never seen it. No, I'm just kidding. Reservoir Dogs? No. Pulp Fiction? No. Jackie Brown? No. Now you're getting even more niche as you go down the list. Kill Bill. No. Kill Bill Volume 2. No. <laughs> Kill Bill Volume 3. Not yet. It's not, no. that's not happened yet. Um, Death Proof. No. No one's barely seen that one. Uh, you, and Glorious Bastards, no. Django Unchained. No. The Hate Boy. Django. No. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. No. His 10th film. The hell is not his 10th film? No. It's not released yet. Oh. <laughs> she saw it early cut. <laughs> We got an early cut. Even like, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I've seen that one. <laughs> um, anyway, Eli Roth, he's basically, he created a, a, a horror film that kind of became a cult classic called Hostel. Okay. Um, and he's also done, he's also a big influencer on the, the horror community. He, he He's actually the creator of Crypt TV. Have you ever heard of Crypt TV? Mm-hmm. So he created that for um, 
the community to make short films and produce short horror films mm -hmm. and give them a place. That's where, like, you know, you see Look See, The Mordeo, all these things came to life. So he's actually the creator of that. Um, he did a show on AMC called the Eli Ross History of Horror, which is really good. Maybe that's what you should watch to get caught up real quicker, a lot more quicker. Yeah, I know. Eli Ross, The History of Horror. Okay. <laughs> no, she's just gonna be... watch Master of Disguise on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Mint. Mint. Uh, anyway, so Eli Roth, being this whole horror guy, he teamed with the uh, Halloween Hornets one year and did Terratram <laughs> called uh, Excuse Eli Roth. Shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Eli Roth presents uh, the Ter Eli Roth presents Terratram, um, and the the overall main character was a character they created called Hollywood Harry. Now Hollywood Harry. Uh, his backstory goes, he used to work at the park years ago uh, before clowns were the stuff of nightmares. After that happened with a bunch of horror films, he disappeared. Years later, like current time, 2016 at the time, he comes back. Sorry. Did you do what I think you just did? He just walked by and just goes, on dinner right then. <laughs> um, so years later, he comes back, current time, 2016, he's spotted walking around the back lot and stuff. And people, like, they actually, what was cool about the marketing is they marketed it all through Crypt TV, and there was actual backlot footage, like, that people took from the tram that was actual, like, it wasn't, like, someone was planning on the tram, and, like, someone, people actually filmed it, because they just put it on to, as a social experiment to see how many people would react to it. And it actually ended up on their video, and you saw him, like, walk the base motel and stuff. So he made, they made this whole terror tram with this original character. Then he came back in 2018, and he actually talked. He brought, like, a whole band of carnies with him and stuff. So, like, each part of the terror tram was different areas. Now it's rumored that he's coming back in 2022. Yep. And it seems like he's becoming a new icon of Halloween Horror Nights out here in Hollywood because we don't have icons. Jack the Clown, Chance, all those people in Orlando, we don't have any of those here. So What's, what's that other clown's name that they did, they did a maze on, um, on Maze Treatments? Sweet Licks, is that what his name is? Oh. Yeah, Sweet Licks. Yeah, bro. That was a check, slash, out, check that video out. Slash Original Maze, yeah. That was a good maze. That was his first contribution. But anyway, Hollywood Harry, I, I don't know what they would do for a third one. The first one was introducing him. The second one was giving him a voice and causing more chaos in the back lot. The third one, he drives the tramp. Yeah, that'd be fun, right? <laughs> I'd be down for that. Sure. So he's a clown. No, thank you. He's a killer clown from Earth. Not to be confused with a killer clown from Outer. It's already Space. been marketed, huh? <laughs> so, yeah, he's a Like, clown. that changes anything. No, no. Was, I, didn't want any, I didn't want any of our viewers to get confused. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot <laughs> yeah, of clowns. good job, Sammy. Good, good job. Well, I'm always looking out. Always looking out. And then I'm just going to go through uh, Orlando's real quick. And you guys stop me if you guys something catches your mind or your whatever. Universal Monsters, The Mummy vs. Wolfman. Been done. Seaside, no it hasn't. Seaside meets the Wolfman. I'm just going to make dumb comments. Just Seaside Village, over. that's an original. Fear the Street. Deaths. Fear Street, ooh. Oof, they're getting Fear Street. That kind of pisses me off. Did you watch Fear Street? No. No. Of course not. Frankly, I, I can answer for This is an interesting one that I kind of want to touch on a little bit. The Last of Us. Um, yeah. More zombies than ever. It actually is about zombies. I know it is. Specifically clickers. Yeah, no, I've, pl I've played The Last of Us 1. I haven't played Last of Us 2. A lot of people didn't like Last of Us 2. I know. Fucking nerds. Listen, you play <laughs> video games too. You just don't play the same video games we play. No, no. I mean, well, you do. You play Warzone and you play Dead by Daylight. I don't have it no more. Dead by Daylight? No. I don't blame you. Um, Curse of Pandora's Box is going over to Orlando. <laughs> wow. Is it Electric Boogaloo? <laughs> he just went, <laughs> oh, Wow. Electric Boogaloo or not Electric Boogaloo? Um, no, not Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> El Chupacabra. Lit. Underground Creatures. Wonder what that is. The Evil Dead. What? Halloween. Wow. Which one? Oh, I don't know. They're not specified. Wow. Uh, which one do you want it to be? Probably the newer shit. All right, cool. I want, I want 70. Uh, kills 78. and 2018 would be good. We've already seen 78. Again. Rinse, wash, Wait, and repeat. Yeah, I've seen 78. I'm talking about the maze. No, I haven't seen 78 in, in wow. real life. I was 20. Have you, you haven't. You definitely haven't. Been. What? What years that you went has there been Michael Myers? 2021 had it. Yeah, it was not a good one. 2019 Halloween. didn't have it, did it? No, 2018 did. did. It was Halloween 4. four. And again. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> Next and question. the weekend. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, wow. the weekend. Wow. So that's hard. Right. Yeah. 
know. I don't know if I'll make it out to Orlando this year. I'm still trying to figure it out. You know what? You go to Orlando what? this year? I ain't got the money for that. Who got the money for that? You want to go to Orlando this year? You you want to go to Orlando this year? All right, next question. So that's a no? Okay. No comment. That's all you had to say was no. No comment. So, I mean, doesn't mean you can't go. Uh, all right, let's, let's yeah, do that. Uh, off topic, <laughs> off topic. Back on topic. Back on he topic. He was just a live audience. There is no talking. <laughs> All right, Eric, all right, so this is the part of the Fight show home. where we do a giveaway. So everyone look under their seat. <laughs> thank you. Um, nice. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be, if, if that's the lineup for Horror Nights, it's actually a lot better than 2021. Well, it's uh, very, very hard not to be 2021. <laughs> the bar was low, and it barely met it. Let's talk knots. I don't know. What's that place? Boysenberry Festival? Is that what we're going to talk about? That does sound pretty bomb right now. Have you been to Boysenberry by any chance yet? Or no? no, I haven't been yet. Is there anything good on the lineup this year for food? They have a Boysenberry seltzer I've heard good things about. I'm not a fan of the Boysenberry beer. I, I don't know what. The wine is good. Is it good? The Boysenberry wine is. I bet it's good. They got a Boysenberry Ooh. jerky too. Supposedly. I know you're a wine guy. You like the Boysenberry wine or no? No, no they, used used to, they used to have a boysenberry alligator jer- uh, jerky Dang. back when I used to work it. Just going back to in the day. What about they used to have the boysenberry meatballs. Those were good. I think I had those that taste. <laughs> anyway, um, haunt season is looking pretty good this year. I'm excited. I'm excited to have Hunter on the team, uh, see where that takes us and how much fun we're going to have this year. Excited for Sammy to make his trips out here. I mean, I know we're already planning knots. Yeah, That's time like, is already off. Yeah. Um, I also took off some random week in October on accident, so I'm guessing coming out in October too. Do you really not want know why you took out? Yeah, I don't know why I put the time off. You see, you swear to God. I swear. That's because you probably took it off for Rob's birthday. No, but I took off the week after Rob's birthday in accident. Coming out double weekends, back to back. Yeah, I'll probably just fly out Friday night for Ross's um, birthday. So it's going to be yeah, fun. It's, it's going to be a good time. I know we're planning on doing buffet a couple times. Because we're combo 69s. And then Hunter, she just, Hunter. She just runs away from me every time, dude. She goes to Matt. She likes Matt more because he gives her attention because oh, I'm busy doing right this right now. Yeah. But You're uh, going to get hair all up on your soda. It'll be extra tasty. Um, yeah. Right. Ew. So it should be a good time. I'm excited for the season. I mean, you're going to be, you'll be checking out a couple new things too with us, hopefully, um, like Temecula Terror. And that way you don't have to drive Castle alone. Dark, I know, right? Castle Dark. Castle Dark. Never been. If Knott's releases season passes this year. I already have mine. Oh, yeah, because you got an annual pass. Yeah, I went to go buy an annual pass the other day, and they didn't have it on the site again. They so. may have took it down, which is a good sign that they just might sell them solo. Yeah, I don't know. I was really about to buy a Knott's pass just to buy a I Scarecrow. I thought about it this year, too. That's literally the only reason why I got a regular pass. I just pass. don't buy a Knott's pass because it's just one of those things where, like, I don't fit on me. Yeah, yeah, but look, you can go to freaking Boysenberry Fest and just spend $30 to get all the tasting stuff. Okay. Duh. You know what else is great about Knott's? All right. No, even better. The train with featuring Ed Cobb. For the train featuring Ed Cobb. That'd be a lot of fun to just fuck with them, right? So no, I just want to see him as Alman, bro. I want to see him rob some people. Pop it up. Last time he was there with a girl, and the girl called him a snake, and I started dying, and no one understood <laughs> why I was dying. And I was like, oh, because he's a snake? That's hilarious. <laughs> um, it should be good. It will be a good season, though. I know Sammy will make a couple trips out. We'll see if we can pull off Florida. Not sure. I'm hearing rumors East Coast friends might be visiting this year. That's neither yeah. here nor there right now, though. That's the rumor mill. It's the rumor mill. So we, we might get some East Coast collaborations with the Boo Bros, maybe. Who knows? If all things, if the stars align. I, we went out there last year. They can come out here this year. But a Fear Street is going out there in Last of Us. I, I got to go out there for that. Hello. We also have Killer Clowns as well. If they get in and we don't, then I'm definitely going out there. Okay. That's the best thing. What? I ain't spending the money on that. Don't look at uh, me to go. okay. I, I went by myself last year anyway, so. And you had a great time. But I stayed at a ghetto hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Who's fault was You want to know how ghetto this hotel was? Air conditioner was on the floor. Sounds about right. 
carpet was wet. Sounds about right. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw prostitution happen. <laughs> Sounds about right. Um, and I'm pretty sure uh, there was a lot of drug use on the premises. Well, other than that, it was a beautiful hotel. Hey, did you, uh, did did you, you sleep good? What happened? Did you sleep good? I did, actually. Did you have anyone visit your room? No. No. I'm not that. No. I wanted him to, though. <laughs> You know, but you know. uh, I did it. I did get buffalo. I I was tempted because next right across the street from my hotel. Before we end this, right across the street from my hotel was this club called the uh, Iceberg Lounge or Ice Lounge or Ice House or something. Um, and it was it sounded like it was popping. What's popping? What's that face? It's popping. There was like there I was a party. I was like, damn, maybe I should go over there and just see what's up. But Shut I didn't. Up. No, because I had to wake up the next day to. Sleep is for the day, I don't bro. know if that was the night I was leaving after the next day, or I don't remember, but I think that night I only got like two hours of sleep and then I slept on the plane, slept in the airport. Yeah. It was not fun. Anyway, should be a good haunt season. Uh, we want to welcome, officially welcome Hunter onto the group. We'll see where that, uh, how much fun we have and how much chaos we can cause with that. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> uh, but thanks for tuning in to another episode of Shoot the Shit. Proud member of the Madhouse Podcasting Network. I'm excited to announce that. We just signed on like two or three new podcasts. So. Ten, fam- one of which uh, co host is actually sitting in the room, so thank you for what you also, do. Also, shout out to our live audience today. Behind the, behind the mask. AKA Little Yoker and uh, Dieter Man and Lily and DS. And <laughs> BSDS. BSDS. Hashtag BSDS. In Dude, the you gotta you gotta put him in the camera so everyone knows hashtag BS. BS. Come here. BSDS. Come here. With his teeth. Come here. Come here. Her name is Leslie. Her, yeah, her name is Come Leslie. On. Can he jump up here or no? Yeah. yeah. Come he on. You probably said to pick him up, so. No, he's just walking away. He's like, fuck you guys. He said, I ain't trying to be on camera, bro. <laughs> he's like, I don't know. Check my Instagram, BSDS. Um, it should be a good season this year. I'm looking forward to it. I look forward to seeing what my friends do this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the uh, interruption. I'm gonna show up in one of his houses when he does a podcast. And just play like, Jeremy, when's the next podcast going down? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show up at Deetz's house. Just ee in the back. I'm just gonna be like one of these, just mood. <laughs> so uh, Deetz knows I love him. Come on, I'll give you that face. I'll give you something else. All right, this has been the show. <laughs> this is uh, well, thank you for tuning to shoot the shit season two uh, premiere. Don't know when the episode two will come out, but probably soon. Uh, we're all hungry, so we'll see you Sunday. guys uh, <laughs> real soon. Uh, y'all keep it real. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Follow us on Instagram. Peace. Peace.